What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we have a ton to talk about. As you guys can see, this is the Stranger Things Nike Air Tailwind 79 upside down. So this is a sneaker I was really, really excited for the release of. I was able to grab these and the Cortez from this upside down Nike Stranger Things pack. And these things look really, really cool in hand. So I'm excited to dive into the sneaker and show you guys what, it, what it's all about. So for this video, we have three main topics. Number one is if this is a good sneaker from Nike, I'll let you guys know my opinion of the sneaker and a, a rating out of 10. Number two is if this sneaker is worth it to pick up on the resale market as it has sold out at this point. And number three is how this ranks up against the other Nike Stranger Things packs that have come out. This is now the third pack, the Upside Down pack. There was the Independence Day pack and the Hawkins High School pack. So there is so much to talk about. So let's just dive right in to the Upside Down Nike Air Tailwind 79 Stranger Things. So first things first are to take a look at what came inside the box and with the box. Nike and Stranger Things went all out on all three packs of this collaboration, and this one was no different. For this pack, we see a little bit of a different box. This one is entirely black and red, honestly pretty similar to an Air Jordan 1 box, but on the inside, we see Nike Stranger Things. <clears throat> on the very bottom of it, we see Caution, removal of top layer, may re reveal alternate dimension, and the tissue paper is the, uh, the layout plans for the Starcourt Mall that they used in season three. So that is really, really cool. Uh, I love that design. The sneakers, of course, it did also come with three pins and an extra set of laces. Lastly, for the box itself, if we take a look at the size tag, we see Air Til Tailwind QSUD in sale, sale, deep royal blue and sale for a retail price of $120. And finally, the last touch on the back of the box is we see the dual branding of Nike Stranger Things as well as 1985 Nike Stranger Things. And now on to the shoes themselves. So right off the bat, you know, I did like the pictures of how these looked, but honestly in hand, the color, it, it doesn't look the greatest to me, this overlay, because, you know, as you guys probably know, this upper material is, you know, what is on the shoe here, but then this scratches off, etches off, can be burned off, and reveals a different colored bottom layer. So that's the most interesting part of the sneaker, but by itself, it is a little bit plain. So I think if you don't, uh, you know, kind of DIY it yourself, it's not as interesting as it could be. Uh, so that's definitely my first opinion of a sneaker. With that being said, the details on the sneaker do not disappoint. So of course, you know, that upper is kind of that sail, kind of grayish colorway. Um, but the, the tongue, we do see Nike and Stranger Things dual branding. And then, you know, of course the laces and the pins, like I mentioned before. On the back heel, we just see Nike written on the back of both sneakers. Although if you guys have seen pictures, both spots here where it does say Nike, when it etches off, Underneath, it does say Stranger Things and has the logo, so I do like that. And now moving inside the shoes are definitely some of the best design aspects of this sneaker. So on the back of both shoes, on the back of the tongue, we see caution removal of top layer may reveal alternate dimension. It will be over soon. So that was the same as we saw at the bottom of the uh, inside of the box. But then the insoles, I'll pull them out in a second, but the, these have a ton of stuff going on for them. So we have Susie, do you copy? Dustin's famous line. We have the machine that the Russians used to open the portal to the upside down on the left sneaker. Nike and Stranger Things branded on both. And then on the inside, we see the Russian phrase that they, you know, decoded in the show. So the week is long. The silver cat feeds when blue and yellow meet in the West. A trip to China sounds nice if you tread lightly. So we have it in English on that side. And then this is the Russian version on the left sneaker. So Nike and Stranger Things absolutely did not disappoint on you know, the design aspects of this sneaker. The insoles are actually, I just tried to take them out. They're a little glued in there. So I'll try and give you guys a little bit of an angle to see some more of the things going on in there, but it's more of just the design aspects of the mall and, and you know, various Russian things and stuff from the show. But then also here's a look at the size tag real quick to get a, num or a look at some of the numbers. And lastly, the outsole on the sneaker is of the Air Tailwind 79. So it's just a classic waffle outsole. So now that we've taken a full look at the sneakers, I'm going to get them laced up and I'll show you guys what they look like on feet.
So now there we have it. There was a look at the upside down Nike Stranger Things Air Tailwind 79. So now that we've gotten a full look at the shoe up close and on feet, I'm pretty torn. Honestly, I am like pretty confused on this sneaker. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion, but I'm not like the happiest with it. I'm just so torn on this sneaker. So if we start back to the first question that I mentioned at the beginning, is this a good sneaker? Retail price is 120 bucks. And obviously behind the scenes, you get so much for this shoe. You get the small details, you get everything going on, all the little nods to the show. And you get this entire upper layer that comes off to reveal a different layer underneath. So you can totally customize it for whatever you want. I love that, but on its own, the sneaker is just very okay to me. You know, obviously it just looks like a, a kind of grayish, whitish sneaker. And you know, it's the Air Tailwind 79 silhouette. The, this silhouette is great and it's actually very, very comfortable. It also does fit true to size, so that's great. But it's just really plain to me and to, to me to have to customize this sneaker, you know, that's, it's just a lot. I've seen videos of people doing it and it seems like a long and tedious process. Don't get me wrong, I would love to, but thinking in reality, it's just not something I would personally take the time to necessarily do. So I think where that falls, given all the pluses and minuses that I kind of just explained, I'm gonna give this sneaker an eight out of 10, just because on its own, it's a little plain and I feel like I would not customize it you know, that fast. I think it would take me a while to actually sit down and do it, but I do love all the small details. So I'm giving it an eight out of 10 because I think it's a very good sneaker, but it's just not quite my favorite as it is in terms of how it looks. But the small designs, the small little nods of the show are amazing. So now the second question is, is this a good pickup on the resale market? So this had a very weird and uh, limited release and it dropped yesterday only at select retailers. They dropped online on sneakers, but sneakers has given a lot of people trouble. So I believe they have completely sold out at this point. And I did just look on StockX real quick before putting up this video here and they were trading for right around $150. So in my opinion, that's a nine out of 10 buy. You know, it's only $30 more. And if you do really like this sneaker, no problem spending the extra money. If anything, I think prices may continue to go down a little bit on these just because this is such a niche shoe given that it is sort of plain and really only the, you know, people who watch Stranger Things who really want the sneaker are gonna be the ones buying it. So in my opinion, that's not a bad price point at all. Give that a nine out of 10. Number three is just how does this link or match up compared to the other Stranger Things Nike packs? And that answer might actually surprise you. In my opinion, I think this pack is the best. So just because of all the small details, I think it has the potential to be the best. And in my opinion, it is just because I, I'm really excited to see what people do in terms of the DIY and construction of like making the sneaker their own. I really like the Hawkins High School pack. Like I had the Blazers that I gave you guys the video uh, video of on my channel. I got the Tailwinds from the um, the Independence Day pack and those were okay. I wasn't the craziest about them. So for me, I'm actually gonna give this pack number one. I, I do like the Stranger Things upside down pack a lot. Um, so let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Which is your favorite pack and what do you guys think of this sneaker? So. Like I said, I'd love to know your comments and thoughts in the comments down below. As always, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed, as well as drop a like if you guys like this video. But that does wrap it up for today's video on the upside down Nike Air Tailwind 79 from Stranger Things. So thank you guys again, and I will catch you guys on the next video.